we have a significant population of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender students in Duval County. Dan Merkin, director of policy at Jasmine, says a CDC survey of high school students in Duval County shows close to 20% identify as gay, lesbian, or bisexual, and more said they were unsure. We need to understand that environments where young LGBT people are harassed, bullied, uh, and not treated with respect and dignity leads to other horrible health outcomes. Merkin says the resolution introduced Tuesday by Duval County School Board member Charlotte Joyce perpetuates the idea that something is wrong with them. That sends a message to students that the school board, uh, at least one member of the school board, uh, isn't really thinking about their welfare and their, their best interests. In addition to expressing support for the new law, the resolution formally disavows existing guidelines for teachers laid out in the district's LGBTQ plus support guide, which currently states that, quote, it is never appropriate to divulge the sexual orientation of a student to a parent. The resolution does not explicitly call to abandon the guide and notes that the existing policy is in conflict with the new law. The Republican Party of Duval County tweeted their support for the resolution. Joyce did not return calls for comment, and other school board members either did not respond or declined to comment. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.